There we go. Recording now. My God. If you dry out silly string, would you be oh. able to make yeah. silly yarn? Nia. Yeah. But... Stop. It gets crunchy. <laughs> no, encourage. <laughs> <laughs> I love the chaos that you see. <laughs> Nia. Zon. Right. Sorry. Teacher's about to call y'all's full fucking government name. Y'all better be careful. As involved. So, both third years, yeah? But Raz is a second year. Okay. Would you go to visit Celia and Valkyr, knowing their reputation as the chaotic duo? Yeah. <laughs> Just automatically put your tokens on it, on the board. So... What you guys know about Helia and Valkyr is that they're inseparable. Some rumors have gone around. They're dating. They don't answer them. They don't dismiss them either. They do that friend thing both of you know is fucking with people of oh you know it's just wouldn't you like to know weather boy kind of attitude <laughs> and it I think that's what drew you to them is just the inherent chaos of knowing that they're probably down for just about anything as anxious as Valkyr seems outwardly. I remember the panic attack. Yes. Panic attack over... his new... Keyblade, Keychain, rather. And... As far as both of you are concerned, I had to ask around a little bit because you haven't seen them in a good couple of days. You should be at classes. You checked their classes. You couldn't find them when they were supposed to. Then their teachers say they're top scores. They can do what they want. You give me an insight of you. Well, it doesn't occur to you, really. Top scores, best in their class. They're probably running off being stupid. Or worse, causing chaos like they normally do. Whereas, they're absolutely shooting the shit in their dorm room. They could not give a shit less. Alright, alright. So you've had to ask around where they stay, and you've managed to figure out without any role necessary because everybody knows where they are they stay in the same dorm room they don't care that one of them's a guy and one of them's a girl they don't care they're best friends as far as, it, as far as you're concerned Raz Val you've probably known each other all their life We 
when you knock on the dorm room, I have a question for you, actually. You think Helia would answer it or Val? Val, Val here. Probably Helia. <laughs> Anxious wreck. Yeah, I don't think he's answering the door for anybody. <laughs> oh, Helia, there's a knock at the door. I'm not opening the map just yet, but there's a knock at the door. Confused Helia noises, and she'll, she'll look at Vilkir at first, like, did you have never need one over? <laughs> just lounged across one of the uh, single seats, that boneless kind of attitude, and nope, boneless. I'd like to I'd like to note that after a moment of no one answering, uh Raz headbutts the door as hard as she can. You just hear from inside the sound of someone fumbling off of a seat and onto the ground. <laughs> as Valkyr just fell out of his seat from being startled. Kilia will go check out the door now because what the fuck? <laughs> And you open the door, Helia, and you see as in Oh. I knew I heard someone in there. <laughs> you good? What did you do to our door? There's a, a slight dent in it. Or rat a tap tap. <laughs> Julia looks at the dead, looks at the two of them. <laughs> Why are you like this? Like what? Like a cool dude? <laughs> sure, that's one way you can put it. <laughs> Do you guys want something or are you just out here assaulting doors? Uh... We couldn't help but notice you guys have been missing in action. That's not a crime, is it? No, and can I just say that's very super cool, like, genuinely. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, what up? From inside, you just see, like, the scrambling of what, gangly long legs trying to scramble out of view. Both Raz and Val are just like, don't need a perception check, there's a stealth involved in this, it is the scramble, just, no, don't perceive me. Ilya standing in the middle of the doorway, so they can't, <laughs> yeah, so they can't perceive <laughs> Valkyr. Yet. Well you guys missing in action there's been uh, a little less chaos to enjoy can't help but be a bit nosy about it you know eh, eh, fair we're not really doing much so you know <laughs> Boop. well you don't even have like a cool reason to skip I mean I don't I, I don't know you're not, like, doing anything, like, weird? Because we could find something weird to do if you wanted. <laughs> <laughs> there is the softest version of a... Rather die. Thank you, though. That's rude. Valley just has opinions. <laughs> I can respect that. Leah, make a deck saving throw. Look <laughs> uh. at it again with your terrible decks. It is what it is. <laughs> Thankfully, that's enough. 
of you yeah you know when the valley is not upset anxious and hates the situation or at least doesn't know the people at the door just you hear small couch pillow being thrown at you more than you see it and you just duck the other two of you you don't see it who wants to catch it me instinctively i will catch do i have to roll for that actually do you want to roll for it yeah yeah why not uh dix is this a saving throw dexterity Yeah, that, that works. So, while it passes overhead, uh, Julia, who ducks instead of catching it, just instinctively reach out and grab it. Then you look at it. What the fuck is this bedazzled-ass thing? Is it, is it, like, one of those where, like, um, it's a different color if you, like, like, rub your hand across the sequins or something? Yeah, it changes appearance when you rub your hand across it. It's one of Val those bedazzled. <laughs> yeah, Val is distracted for two minutes. He does. He's not even pissed about the <laughs> would rather die comment. He's distracted. <laughs> Goes from a pitch black color to literally the gay pride flag. Yo, guess fuck yeah. Gay rights. to have opinions. No, they're good. Val is all about it. I don't know if you could tell, but he's kind of a fruit. Ra Raz is no. just... <laughs> Sorry. I thought I was... Gonna... No, it's okay. Yeah, that was the a little offended. She's kind of looking forward to getting into trouble, and it seems they aren't looking for it. There is a slow reach of a long arm with, you know, you know when you can tell someone's been to the nail salon just by their nails? Yes. Mm. Manicured hand. Just... Reaches around, black nail polish on, and hands both of you a glass bottle of Coke. Just holding yeah. it in like kind of hold between two between two fingers each. Just Hey, these aren't like super old, right? Like I won't get food poisoning or anything, right? Just leans into frame with like fluffy or like that obscenely fluffy terrible to brush kind of fluffy brown hair the look of what you know just kind of had an in uh, incident with old ass uh soda it wasn't it wasn't the greatest Raz, on the other hand, has already snatched hers. Why would we give you old s Never mind. Because it would be funny. <laughs> <laughs> We're good hosts. Why would we do that? I mean, you can be a good host and still be like a prankster, but, you know. Made well, I'm going out. to roll something real quick. <laughs> if roll 20 would load. Thank you, roll 20. Uh, the person you can only uh, the only the person you assume 
can only be Valkyr. Steps fully out from behind Helia. It's kind of cartoonish in the sense that Helia is very small. And Valkyr stands at about six foot three. Easily. Six foot three and all limbs, my dude. It's. I think it's worth noting that th this is kind of like a, dar a dark mirror of sorts, because if I remember correctly, Valentine is kind of short and Raz is, is pretty tall as well. Not as tall as Alkir, but... Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's kind of funny. <laughs> <laughs> Val is a, is a very hardy 5'4". <laughs> I think Helia was like 5'3 or something. 5'2". Mm -hmm. <laughs> Oof. Val is is absolutely loving that he's not the shortest. <laughs> tiny, Raz, tiny. Raz is either five ten or six feet. I think I settled on six feet, but I can't remember right now. Have you ever met one of those high school kids who hit their uh, growth spurt really, real like in the middle of high school and then like shot up to about six foot, six foot two or something like that? But they're it's all gangly and weird. Yeah. That's my friend. Right no, I had a friend named Devion who hit his growth spurt in middle school, but he was a heavyset fellow, so his weight kind of evened him out. Mm. And then he was taller than most of our teachers. Valkyr is the uh, gangly sort of skinny guy. String bean. Yeah, he's... skittery. It would not be un uncanny or weird to call him... Something of a spider. But regardless, uh, he's he seems a little bit more at ease knowing that the two of you aren't here to cause trouble in the normal way, then just nope. walks back over to his normal seat, which to Helia means that he's more comfortable. Hello, welcome back. Hey. Hello. Then with a, a wave over to the door, I was just, you can come in. Hell yeah. So what, what kind of like, uh, what's the dorm situation whenever we walk in? Like, what's it look like? I'm actually going to show you the map. Yes. I like the red. I'm vibing with the red. Mm hmm. Plants. I need Raz and Val to make a perception check. Okay. While we do that, I think it's worth noting that while we walk in, Raz has opened the cope with her teeth. Fuck yeah. Did you say perception? <sighs> yeah, perception. Sorry, there is a bit of a static. Hmm. say 14 does it because I think nine is where funnily enough the DC was 10 oh my God. Here are. <laughs> uh, Raz we hear a faint purring <laughs> I immediately I like look for the look for where the purring is from. Like I, I don't ask. I don't. I'm just I'm just looking for the cat now because my my attention has been like 
<laughs> gone from them to the cat, like, entirely. <laughs> the purring. Which I assume is a cat, but... An investigation check. Oh, yes. find this entertaining on a fundamental level actually you're looking for the cat yeah on my hands and knees if i have to crawling around this new place looking for for the source of the purring it's not that hard because of the sole purpose of you know how when you turn your back to some place that you just looked at then you get the feeling of... Mm. Yes. You're over by this chair, and you're looking behind it, and you turn away for half a second. You go, wait. You turn back. There is... Ah, curry. There is a heel <laughs> There is a sort of teal bluish cat just sitting behind the the, the single seat ring Big eyes, big smile. Who is this magnificent creature? Hey, what the? What's going on? Cat. Cat. That was <laughs> immediately over there. Son, <laughs> you're going to get this. It looks like a mancoon. Yeah. <laughs> a teal mancoon. Oh my god. I want. Yeah. I want to try to pet it, but I don't like invade invade uh, their their space. Like, I hold I hold out my hand, but I don't like overwhelm it. the 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 druid in me is coming out. The animal handler. <laughs> Need for animal handling, for Spider. Animal handling or or need persuasion? for animal handling. Roll for Spider. Julia knows who the, the, what this cat is. Sorry, I'm I'm waiting for someone to say the thing that we've said out of context. Yeah, there we go. Cherry got it. Oh, did I leave and come back to the demon cat? The cat is level twenty. Yeah, the demon. Um, <laughs> Val and Ra, Ra, Raz, Raz, yeah, Raz. Yeah. Um, have found the demon cat. Well, it's not a demon; it's a cat. They're level 20. <laughs> it's a biblically accurate cat. <laughs> hey, Chuck, so, I know we're just talking about a Maine Coon. Now's not the time to fuck up the couch. So, <laughs> 13 is fine, because this is a very lovable cat. In fact, as soon as you get within literally 10 feet, with, like, reaching out your hand, this cat just... Stands up, stretches. I have an echo, by the way. And stands up, stretches, and. Hmm? Oh, it was a uh, vowel. Oh, okay. Normally, I'm the echo. There's a bit of a wiggle, and just stares at you for a few moments before headbutting your hand. <laughs> oh, goodness. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> that, that's, in, that's in character reaction, by the way. <laughs> hmm? <laughs> I, I, I kind of... I'm, I'm scritching wherever the cat guides me to scritch. 
What is this creature's name? <laughs> I, I call it over to them. Akira uh, looks over. Does, oh, found Mercutio. Mercutio. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Yeah, he, he's a bit of a lovable one. I can tell. What a what a absolute what a absolute creature, a total unit. Helia is doing her best to muffle giggles. <laughs> Alkir has once again become boneless and has and will say the first thing that comes to mind is that dude's all fluff. Pretty sure if we take that away, he's skinny. Like, like not in a rude way, just like if dude is all made of fur. He's catching. Oh, no. I well, yeah, but it's terrible in the summer. And by the way, it is almost summer break. I'm not letting him cuddle me. That sounds like something you have to take up with him. Those are the words of a coward. Yes, a coward who gets overheated easily. <laughs> sure, if you ask him nicely, he will not cuddle you. Last time I did that, I got the stare of someone who was staring into my soul. I swear that cat is... No. Is no? Is no? no? <laughs> is any cat truly no? <laughs> Here stands up and walks over here, which seemed like a funked piece of equipment. As he walks over, it lights up with a bunch of different screens. He's just tapping through it. Want anything to eat? Academy to hardwire into their network. It's basically a delivery system. It is one of three. You, you, you got you got caffeine. <laughs> Stops for a second. Looks over. Caffeines and everything. Kind of it, actually. Thanks for another second. What the hell, dude? Sugar isn't everything. Sugar is caffeine. Hey! Right? Oh, yeah! What? Sugar is caffeine, right? <laughs> no. a, a thoughtful <laughs> pause. <laughs> I don't. No. <laughs> Caffeine is stronger than sugar could ever hope to be. <laughs> then just shrug. What do you want? Obviously. What did we did we run out of something? Just muttering to himself for no, right now. Uh, I would like to inform you from the VC chat. Uh, Val is requesting popcorn. The popcorn. <laughs> See, there is a... I do this all the time, IRL, so I'm making Valkyr do it. 
just without looking over makes the uh, punk rock gesture at a, at a concert. <laughs> The acknowledgement of heard you. Taps into a couple of things and goes back to deciphering what the hell he's talking about. As do you want to pick up the fluffy mangoon? I do if he'll let me. There's no role required. You reach out and this cat it just easily lets himself be picked up, and boy is he an absolute unit. <laughs> oh, goodness. You know when cats end up getting to a size either in weight or in mass of fluff that you hold them in your arms and they are simply just unit? Oh, yes. Uh, uh, armfuls. <laughs> Of cat. Yes. <laughs> yes. That is Mercutio. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Has curled up in your arms. I, I feel blessed. <laughs> I feel I feel I feel like a special little guy right now. <laughs> you have been chosen. So Mercutio sees your hand, Val, and just the little left flick. It is it uh, normal to keep uh, creatures on, on on campus like for for what? Raz thinks right now, she thinks this is a pet, but... Raz and... <laughs> Raz and Val, you know it's kind of not allowed to have animals on campus? Oh, that makes multiple reasons. even more. <laughs> However, you have seen this cat round in brief glimpses. You just never knew it belonged to these two. Alright, alright. It's kind of the campus pet at this point, but belongs to these two. Approval plus one. True. That is oh. true, Nia. <laughs> they they belong to the cat. <laughs> yeah. Shelia, who is still doing her best to not giggle, goes, Well, you passed the five check. I think. <laughs> the vibe. Well, yeah, make a perception make a perception check. Persepi? advantage for reasons for reasons Ugh. incredible Helia good job you look at Mercutio and the others don't see it I'm not going to make them roll they wouldn't see it you're attuned this cap essentially you know Plus, personality of this cat, and you swear you see him smirk. Celia to herself. And no, he's being a little shit. <laughs> Not loud enough, or even out loud, so that anyone can hear it. Just like. Makes dead eye contact with the cat of, I know what you're doing. <laughs> you know that smug emoji I send all the time? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's just that. Just 
just walks over to these two and sounds Raz a funny steaming hot seems to be perfectly made ever had one of those drinks that is not quite coffee not quite energy drink but a mix of the two yeah <laughs> just holds it out oh <laughs> right now my arms are a little full so i look to to uh to val valentino and i'm like hey Give me a sip of that. <laughs> I'm unwilling to put to put this cat down right now. <laughs> I, I've got my hand all up in his fur. I'm just like scritching, you know. <laughs> Val is gonna uh, just kind of like it's like a gentle baby bird sort of situation, <laughs> just gently t uh, tilting the 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 glass, but like. I'm trying to be really careful with it. <laughs> I want you to understand something. How much are you drinking of it? Giant gulp. Gotta give it a taste. <laughs> Gotta give it a proper, a proper, uh, mouthfeel. <laughs> Tastes like a mix of... Tastes vaguely tropical, but with a slight citrusy kind of. What is in that shit? It is delicious. <laughs> Trade secret. Trade secret. <laughs> yeah, just trade secret. Oh, yeah. It's not. It's now a community drink, <laughs> cause it's it's so good. I just can't keep it to myself. <laughs> Ayo. <laughs> I feel like that happens a lot on accident. Like one of them will just get a drink, and then the other one will be like, "Hey, what's this?" And we'll just try it. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> Same taste. A uh, tropical vagueness with a citrus kind of. You no. Know feel to it. it. How much are each of you drinking? Is it half and half? Or is one more going to one of you? I was gonna say more to Raz, but we might just go have these if that's cool with her. Yeah. Nice. Oh yeah, so, you know, you know, I got you. <laughs> I got so, you. So both of you have an additional ten feet of movement speed. Oh, <laughs> no. Wait, so much. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> for, just... yeah. For the next uh, two hours, actually. And yeah, just in, in the game, so if you guys ever just want to have zoomies at random points, or just pace around in character. Oh, to match how I pace IRL. I'm actually sitting now, but... <laughs> with, with this with this newfound power, I would like... It, it, I would like to begin uh, pacing with... Not, still not putting Mercutio, Mercutio down. Uh, <laughs> I, I've now I've now imprinted. I've I've made a friend. <laughs> yep. I'm going to stop you. It's not putting the token down. As of right now, I can show you what Mercutio looks like though. The cat. The boy. <laughs> oh my goodness.
Cat is level 20. You get no further context on that until later. I know, it's driving me insane! Uh, do, does Raz- like, is there any way for, for Raz to gauge the power of this cat, or does- is it just like, Oh! Teal cat! Soft. Love. <laughs> the cat has more of a collar with a, like, bow on the back. It's, it's it's less a hat and more I've I, <laughs> Ilya, correct me if I'm wrong. It's more of one of those annoying little jingly bells. Yeah. <laughs> For some reason, it never works when it's supposed to type of bells. It's cartoon logic of it only works when it's annoying or funny. It only works when you're hiding. Court jester logic. Anyway. <laughs> yes, there is a collar. And it is a black collar. With the stupid fucking goddamn jingle jingle bell. Only curled up in your arms, Raz. Oh, yes. <laughs> Valkyr, after about five minutes of silence, goes, If you put shredded cheese on an everything bagel, do you get everything as a stack bonus, or is it a penalty? <laughs> Ilya, like Ilya... Sorry. <laughs> yeah, Ilya looks at him, squints her eyes, and goes, Val, the hell did you drink? E. <laughs> Are you high? About six hmm? foot three. Okay. <laughs> Anybody can pipe in after that? It ought to stack, me thinks. <laughs> Six foot three, baby. I would like to, um, <laughs> I would like to begin my journey of pacing around the room with this cat in my arms, if, if, if he will stay, uh, immediately, uh, for, kind of, kind of going in this direction, because I, I'm now, interested in whatever <laughs> whatever wisdom uh Valkyrie is, is spouting to <laughs> yes sure wisdom that's what Wh you would call it it is <laughs> i would call it that indeed <laughs> after about a minute the next thing that comes out of his mouth is you think I know rarely any of this does, but do you think if <laughs> if you put a gloom next to a flower, would it eat it? Could had to. Wait, who's who's eating what? The gloom or the flower? Never see a man buffer. <laughs> I am two for two for breaking this man. <laughs> and 
then just sputters and goes, Bloom. Bloom is eating the flower. I guess, with the because it's living, would it... Or Gloom's alive. Just stares wistfully into the distance. Yeah. Elkia, you're not supposed to have existential thoughts until 2 a.m. Time is it, by the way? You got to the dorm at around 6 p.m. Okay, okay. You've been here for about an hour, maybe? He's just getting a head start. <laughs> Then he snaps to attention and just, okay, but hear me out. If they're alive, is it murder? And if it's not, what is it? And play the Jeopardy music. <laughs> You're not here, Lance. Wait. Sorry, you said the gloom is alive, right? If it is the... alive. If it is alive. If it counts as living. Is it murder? And if it's not. It's like, I never, I, I don't study glooms. I, I didn't take that elective, you know? What do I... Did I take that class? I feel like I might have... Do I remember anything? You're like a third year, yeah. Yeah. Can so, I remember anything from the class? <laughs> it's an elective, so... It's not a main class. Surprisingly. It's an elective, so you would have chosen to do it. I... I also wanted to know how much I would know on the subject with so my status and interest. You having an interest in being second year, I think during your first year, you would have at least taken one semester of gloom study. Or at least enough of the classes to get some information. Mm -hmm. So, Val. Yes. Would you have dedicated any particular time to Bloom study? I think so, yeah. I think it's a topic that interests him. How much time would you have dedicated? Weeks? Um, semester? Probably a solid semester. Okay. So... I'm actually going to check what you would know. So, for a semester, in how I run things, a semester is basically half a year. Because there's terms instead of semesters. Which are like quarter years. So, you'd know a little bit. You'd know about fast as fuck boys. Like, I'm pretty sure you don't call them by their actual names, which makes gloom study professionals quote unquote a little annoyed oh absolutely <laughs> their actual terminology is runners and poppers 
which both of you would know. You probably don't call them that, though. One of them is really fast and leaves a trail behind them. The other ones are unpleasant, to say the least. There are worse ones, per se, but you know basic information about not bottom tier, but or I'm trying to be serious. So they're they're the basic tier. They're things you would run into if you were a proper keyblade wielder, consistently. It's kind of like they're, like, alive, but, like, how bed bugs are, you know? So, like, you you got your, um, you got your fast as fuck boys, and then you got your fucking gushers, uh, so it's like, you know, you just gotta, it is murder, but it's like a, it's, it's, it's like, uh, what's it called? Like an exterminator, you know? He leans on his his elbows on his thighs and just Okay, but consider this. Consider? Yeah. Then completely stops dead. Consider what? And then completely stops just completely stops like in that ma manner of like ADHD of the trains are gone. Okay. Train left the station and didn't take Valkyr with it. <laughs> now he's buffering and nobody did it to him except for himself. <laughs> oh no. Then very, very quietly, I don't remember what I was going to say. That's okay, we've all been there. There, there, Valley, it's alright. Oh, it's worse, because I had a good point. For once, I had a good point. Always have good points. You have the good points. Don't got shit. Don't be mean to yourself, or I will dunk you in the pond. Stop stealing the trains. <laughs> Don't have any trains. Got a messy workbench and occasionally someone slaps a post-it note to my forehead. I mean exactly what I do to get you to eat at a normal hour. Well, hey now! Mean. Not being mean. I can't help it if you stay in your workshop for 10 to 12 hours when you should be sleeping. Hey. Can we check out this workshop at some point? It sounds fun. But that's what was just in my brain too. I was like, workshop. Well, <laughs> <Working yeah>. on... <laughs> what? <laughs> As... Yes. You know when cats have like love aggression? Yes. Just the very slow, like you see it. This is a very slow, open mouth and just wait. <laughs> I, I let him chew on me, of course. <laughs> it's that gif that everybody uses of just someone inching their leg closer and then just bite. <laughs> Ooh. 
<laughs> exactly yes. that. I, I just I, I leave I leave my hand there for him to chew on and bite as he pleases, just just totally at peace. <laughs> Ilya, you know he's being a little shit. <laughs> yep. If he, if he, like, tries to, like, I'm not holding him to me. If he wants, like, uh, Re Rez is, like, accepted this as part of being a cat lover. <laughs> After a moment of being bitten factionally, Arcusio will stop, gently lick the bite, and then just hop out of your arms and wander over to Helia, jump up on the couch, and curl up next to her. Perfect. I... Yeah. I would like Raz to uh, stop her pacing to move onto the couch at the farthest end, just to be close to the cat, even though even though the cat is done with her. <laughs> hey, what's up? Hello. Helia has reached out and is just like hand on the cat. <laughs> <laughs> Just gently head bonks upward. So, about this workshop of yours. Valkyrie says I'm not allowed it, allowed in it unsupervised anymore. I mean, we can be supervision. <laughs> oh <laughs> yeah, we're yeah, we're totally responsible. <laughs> <laughs> We're so trustable. You have no idea. I get some level of giggling out of her, and she goes, You'd have to take that up with Valley. <laughs> to which I look at him immediately and go, How you feel about that? <laughs> the six? Coming from the DM with a six from Valkyr? <sighs> Love this boy. Rolls terrible sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Just looks between uh, Val and Raz for a moment and sure. Just make sure she doesn't blow anything up again. Oh yeah, we hate blowing things up. That We would never let that happen. Ever. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You know, one that time I, I lost another role, right? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna. Um, one time I, uh, one time I, I, I blew something up, and then it, uh, uh, and then I took my eyebrows, and I definitely hated it, and didn't like drawing on my eyebrows all the time when they were different every day. <laughs> yeah, Val learned. Val learned for both of us. <laughs> Sorry, Valkyr. This uh, is so good! <laughs> head full of nothing. Um... I love this. Bonding moments. Just... okay. If you say so. J just... please... keep her safe. can do that. Yeah, yeah for sure. Uh, <laughs> I try to... Sorry. One of you roll persuasion with advantage, or both of you roll pers persuasion? I will... If, if you want, I can roll it, because I... Uh, but if you want to do one and one, then that's fine, too. Uh, let's do... My, my persuasion's pretty good. Let's do both. Right. Uh. <laughs> well, there, you go. there we go. Hidden it right when it counts. <laughs> <laughs> Good job. 
So 11 does not cut it in this circumstance, but 19 does. There's a untrust, like not, a not trusting glance to Raz. Who has the to... like biggest shit eating grin, by the way. <laughs> yeah, that probably doesn't help. No. <laughs> Val, however, you see the tension in his shoulders slightly relax. Not all the way. Mm -hmm. You notice at this point that the entire time you guys have been here been tense despite all the weird shit he's been saying. He's just like this normal. But yeah, uh, Val, Val is like doing his best serious face right now and he's trying not to smile. But it, uh, it's, it's like pointedly not making eye contact with Raz because if he does, he's gonna smile. And just hey, okay. sure. Whenever she goes to her workshop, you're invited. Well, I'm so excited. Can, can I offer offer knuckles to the Helia? You sure can. <laughs> <laughs> I, I've, uh, I, 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 I am paying attention to that tension, though, that from, uh, Valkyr. I, I, I haven't entirely forgotten that first interaction, the passing interaction in the arcade. It's still kind of hanging in the back of my mind, having to do with him, too. Smug emoji. But that's where we're going to uh, end that interaction, because we need to spin an hour. I didn't. Oh, I lost track of time. Sorry. <laughs> no, it, it was been adorable. an actual hour. Like a literal hour has passed. <laughs> yeah. Both in game and in session. So, we're going to move on to a different kind of ridiculous. Very. Holy shit, I'm doing something now? Harry. What? <laughs> I'm not- Gently bonks you. I'm not wrong, though! The last session, I didn't even get a glance! Neither did I. They're there. <laughs> you gotta take initiative, guys. Yeah. We're getting our time. <laughs> So, I'm going to ask you this succinctly. Okay. When in the day would you go to visit the Disney castle? Afternoon? Okay. Uh, excuse me. Just making sure you can move your damn token. That'd be a good idea, yeah. So, Tsubasa. Yes. You are granted permission by a teacher to visit Disney Castle. It has a different name to a bunch of different people. But, globally, Disney Castle. That being said, I have a more of a flavor question for you. Okay. Oh boy. Which teacher did you ask? Uh, 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 
I don't know. That one, over there. I don't think Cherry remembers the teachers. Well, it's not just that, but I don't know which ones Subasa would have actually interacted with. Because a lot of the teachers that are mentioned so far, I think, are second and third year teachers. Unnecessarily. They are class teachers. Class teachers. We have different curriculums for the different years. It's just that the different... The people who have interacted with them have been second and third years. Um, well, where's the bard teacher? That would be Aaron. And there's a good chance that Tsubasa would have asked Aaron. Funnily enough, it's hardly a question to be asked because Dr. Saitos finds it quite funny that the first year is heading to Disney Castle. Not for any particular reason, just entertained for the extent of a teacher knowing that that's probably the safest place you can be. Yeah. Aside from the at the academy itself. So, though Dr. Saito should probably be coming with you, wasn't. And activates the teleportation line itself and allows you to step through. How does Tsubasa react to magic? Hey, magic. Um, I can't imagine him having any particular strong reaction. Cause, okay. like, even if he is just the first year, I mean, his parents... Mm hmm Keep that in mind. <sighs> I'm just messing with you. Why do you do this, this to is, me? This is mostly just for flavor. I'm trying <laughs> to get you to talk about your character. Yeah, I know. But, no, it doesn't feel like he would be all that surprised with the teleportation stuff. Not surprised, just... Well, teleportation lines are like not rearranging anything, but it feels... Have you ever gotten vertigo? Not that I can particularly recall, but I understand what the feeling is, and he is just like... <laughs> It's like a light sense of vertigo mixed with feeling you get when you s not slip, but right before you fall and you catch yourself. So, yeah, Tsubasa just has a moment of, uh, 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 you know? Yeah, it's being moved without your own say-so kind of feeling. It's not pleasant, but it's not unwelcome. Which is why I asked how he reacts to high magic. Oh, high magic specifically. Yeah. I didn't hear the high part. The teleportation lines are higher magic okay. because they are meant to not break under stress. Under high travel stress. He's fine. Can't give you more. Sabas is fine. He just needs a moment to recover from the vertigo lit moment. Okay. So do cover from that relatively easy. Not for any particular reason, but
but because you used the teleportation lines often. You were younger. And specifically, the Disney Castle ones, quite often. And the front gates recognize you. Are they a little put off by your appearance? Maybe. But they let you in regardless. Walk into the front gates. Walk in through the front door as you're let in. And the foyer is quiet. There's no guards around, but that's probably because up on the ledge up on the upper tier of the foyer are two familiar faces. People who could guard this entrance solely by themselves. You recognize them, no real required. It's General River and General Marlin. They don't seem to have noticed you yet. Why is it that gremlin mode is being activated? Tsubasa wants to try to see if he can sneak up on them. Go ahead and try. <sighs> Alright. I don't have sheets for them. If I make a sheet, it's gonna go downhill. Downhill for you? No, uh, da da uh, down... Me. <laughs> I, was, I was trying to say downhill for who, and then I guess I got it right anyways. Oh, that's a fucking... Gremlin mode. Full fucking gremlin mode. He immediately just sort of crouches down and hurries to get up against the ledge before they can notice that he is there. And he's going to listen for a little bit. Just out of curiosity. Full perception. Perception with advantage. Perception with advantage. Okay. Do, 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 do. I'm doing all right. Mm -hmm. So with a 19, you catch nearly all of it. I say nearly all, because they are speaking relatively quietly. You are a... Oh, because you are too wide. You're essentially only 10 feet away. been a cross, but ten feet. Yeah. So you hear the exchange starting with River, white-haired one. It's going, Mar, getting stressed again. Do we need to go on a vacation? Followed by Harlan's voice. Don't need a vacation. Need this shit to be over. Right, but we have a guest, an important one, over today. She's currently in the throne room. You need to act a little bit more like your station, otherwise the king is going to get on your ass. He already gets on my ass. He knows my attitude. I'm not going to change for anything. He hired me for a reason. Yes, and that's why I'm here. Are you sneaking up the stairs? Yes, sneaking up the stairs. <laughs> Just, like, still listening, occasionally peeking over to see if they noticed him yet. Roll another still. Another stealth. All right. <laughs> Dirty twenty. You're good. Yeah. I'm going to use your perception check from earlier. Continue to hear the conversation, and you're welcome to move as they talk. Erlen continues. Listen, 
of this is none of my concern. I don't give a shit about that woman. Or is I know you're not fond of any political figure, but you have to at least try to be civil. Civil, my left ass cheek. I don't give a single fuck about what's happening right now. Besides, if I wanted to be civil, I'd actually take it up with someone I gave two flying fucks about. So at this point, General River glances literally a centimeter to the right. <laughs> notices you? Yeah, Tsubasa just just quickly does the finger to the slip, just like no, she, don't give me away. Why am I getting the impression that I should let you roll with advantage? Fuck it. Roll persuasion with advantage. Persuasion with advantage. Okay. What the fuck? I know why you're rolling so high. So, General River looks away back to Harlan again. And just if you're going to have that attitude, are at least, at least, give me a favor. Oh, I'm afraid there. <laughs> me solid. No, damn it. Listen, just have some faith. What do you do? He's going to reach out, and he's just... How how tall is this guy? Uh, how how tall is... Uh, fucking... I already forgot the goddamn name. General, tall, dark, and handsome over here. That is Marlin. Marlin, okay. Yeah, no, Tsubasa is just going to reach out, and... Like... He's going. Uh, he's going to go to grab Marlin's shoulders, and I cannot recall how tall. Shit! I cannot. Stop sneezing! I'm fucking apparently. God damn! I can't die. Remember how tall I made Subasa? Fucking Christ! Good. Wait. Okay, I'm good. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, I know. Laugh all you want. Sorry, it was just the timing. But yeah, Subasa goes and grabs Marlin's shoulders. I can't remember how tall I made the boy, but I'm going to be guessing that he is somewhere around the six foot range, honestly. If I recall correctly, you said five nine, five ten. Okay. We'll go with five nine then, because he's still baby. He's still growing. <laughs> Marlon <laughs> is around six foot one. It's not too terribly different. That's good. However, upon having noticed Tsubasa and there's suddenly hands on his shoulders, just doesn't yelp or anything. He has the knight's reaction of putting a hand on the hilt of the grip of his blade and urching away. And turning immediately to face whoever it is, only to just go. <laughs> uh, God damn it. Yeah, no, Tsubasa is openly giggling at this point, just like. <laughs> I actually got you! I 
was talking. Sniffer is also trying to hide snickering. It's just like, it's, it's, it's impossible. Just... You both assholes. Tsubasa just shrugs and she's like, I wanted to see if I could do it, then... Well, I mean, it's not my fault you didn't notice. Oh, yes, my fault. I see how it is. Thank you for that. I'll keep that in mind next time. <laughs> it's just the... Oh, no, I think I might be in danger next time to look on his face. And then General Rivers clears his throat and goes, <clears throat> So, Madasa, what brings you to the castle? Out of character, I don't fucking remember. We're coming here, if I recall correctly, we agreed upon you were trying to both see the generals for a reason we didn't agree on or got distracted by. Probably So you're free to make that up. And you were also trying to figure out more about about Queen and King. Ah, right. So he was coming here for the library specifically. Mm -hmm. So yeah, Sabas is just like, uh, I just wanted to see if I could do a bit of research in the library, and I, I figured I'd see, talk to you guys first. Just, hi! It's very sweet of you. I don't think now is the best time to do research as a first year. Why? Uh, we have a bit of a visitor. Marlin then speaks up and goes, yeah, political head of everything known to man. Who's the visitor? Uh, you know, the one that's always on TV. That's the White Queen, yeah? Yes, Brianna DeBoer. Uh. Yeah, Tsubasa just... Oh... Oh, her... Yeah. She is currently in the throne room, talking to the king. But why would that cause the problems with me being in the library? Everything is currently... fucked up don't want any incident of things being stolen. Dang it. Which River goes, it's not that we don't trust her, it's that any new visitors get this treatment. Mm. This is the first time she's been here, and she's talking with the king, of all people. About what exactly? Are you able- are you guys able to say, or...? There is a pause between the both of them. A shared glance. All insight. Alright. <laughs> oh no, number's going down. <laughs> Basa, you know Marlin and River are the king's right and left hand. You know that they should be in there with him. They're probably very anxious. So Subasa would know just... Hmm, something's a little weird with this situation anyways. So, 
Yeah, actually, he is going to question that. It's just like, actually, why aren't you guys? Why are you guys out here? Pause for a second, Nia. I'm not even paying attention to the fucking dis. Oh, okay. God damn it, Nia. The term right and left hand refers to a, sh a shield and a sword. Nia, I'm about to fucking summon Exodia up on you. Arlen is the left hand, the sword. Ver is the right hand, the shield. Just to clarify. Anyway, moving on. What was the question? Tsubasa is asking, why are you guys out here anyways? I thought, wouldn't you guys normally be in there? Marlin scowls. Genuine scowl. He doesn't even show around you. Or rarely does, rather. River just... <sighs> We're asked to leave the premises, or at least the room. It was... Request from the king himself. That's kind of weird. Not terribly. It happens from time to time. Hmm. Do you know how long it's going to be until I'm until they're done or? Tabasa, make a perception check. I'm just making all sorts of checks today, huh? Hmm? Uh... That's a nat 20. As you finish that last word, asking a question of when they're going to be done, the hairs on the back of your neck stand up. A discomforting feeling that happens right before you hear the click of heels coming down the left hallway towards the throne room. Tsubasa's so just going to move a little bit closer to the generals. <laughs> just, oh, I, that, that. That's not a fun feeling sort of reaction, you know? Clicking Fuck. of heels grows closer, louder. It's only occurring to you after about a minute. It's only loud to you because the other two haven't seemed to notice, and they're looking at you oddly, because it's showing on your face that you're nervous. Do, do you guys not hear that? What? Oh, what's happening? Are you okay? Uh, I'm, I'm fine, that's just... Uh, Tsubasa does look towards the hallway that he can hear the heels from. It's just like, I think someone's coming f from the throne room? River and Marlin immediately turn on their heel. Marlin turns like a quarter towards that hallway and whoever turns directly towards it, both of them resting their hands on the hilt of their blade. He roll an insight check. You are testing my luck today and it did not want to play nice for that one. A 
nothing to worry about. Clicking of heels stops. The feeling persists. Yeah, Subasa just quietly edging a little bit closer to the uh, to to the generals is just like they just stopped. What stopped? Do I to you then? I don't hear it. I could hear footsteps. You guys couldn't hear them? Hear it at all? No, it was dead silent in here, kiddo. Are you sure you're not sleep deprived? Uh, I'm... I know the first year sucks. I went to the academy myself. No, I'm I'm fine. It's I've been getting plenty of sleep. I just I, uh. I don't know. I I don't even hear it anymore. Both turn towards you. And no role required. Are you still looking towards the hallway? Yes. Walking through the doors, silent as can be. There's a woman. This long white hair, pale skin, in a nice white dress. About six foot five, naturally. With bright red eyes. And she's smiling. A patient yet confident smile. And she looks directly at you. Oh. Hmm. Tsubasa is caught off guard and he very quickly looks away. Now it's just like, oh, I am not liking this feeling. Then a voice speaks up that Vasa, you recognize from brief instances of the television breaking into your shows, much to your dismay, you connect the dots pretty quickly. As I interrupted I something, boys. <laughs> yeah, no, Tsubasa's just like, oh boy, the, the, she's right there. Ah! <laughs> and begins to walk. That clicking of heels starts. Uh, Tubasa quietly trying to keep it to where the generals can only hear. It's just like that. I could hear that. There's no real role associated with that, but for funsies, real sleight of hand. <laughs> My god. I would say roll stealth, but this this is very specific. Yeah, but I got a fifteen. He is far enough away. I have not heard that, and that's high enough. So, Marlin turns to face her when she approaches the staircase. That does not seem to acknowledge what you said. River, however, does not face her, which gives him the opportunity to give you the look of, are you okay, without saying anything. Tsubasa just, he glances at River and just 
sort of hesitantly shakes his head like he's not sure what is happening. Clicking of heels persists up the staircase. And the voice returns as Rihanna speaks. No, this is... You all have been very wonderful to me. Can't thank you enough for your warm welcome. All of that are terribly unfortunate. They bring the worst out of people. Is <laughs> on your level now, and she looked small. She knew she wasn't, but she looked small from a distance. Closer, you realize that she's quite tall, and even in her nice dress and her soothing voice, her wonderful flowery words, full insight. <laughs> You really are testing my luck today. <laughs> and I'm not doing so great with these insight rules. The Here's... nine. The nine. It's a nine. You. The feeling that something is off. Flowery tone, her soft voice colors being white and pale gold stranger danger stranger danger soft pale blue with a sash of red around her waist she for lack of a better way of describing her She looks like a porcelain doll. She approaches anyway. Subasa, meanwhile, actively fighting the urge to hide behind one of the generals. Seventeen now. He shouldn't be hiding behind people. 17. You're still a kid. <laughs> yeah, but he's trying to act grown up. Even though right now he's just like, mm, I want to leave. A little wisdom saving throw. Oh boy. Oh, good. As she gets within 30 feet of you, that urge to run, that urge to hide, is makes you want to almost cry. <laughs> you steal yourself. It was the wisdom saving throw to see whether or not I was going to start crying. No, it was going to see whether or not you actually did hide. Okay. So, yeah. Subasa, by sheer something, does just. He, he remains where he is. He smiles. It's. patient and calm smile. It's not aimed at any particular person. She does look at Marlon. I understand your hesitation towards me. Everyone is 
some degree, has some hesitation towards those who are famous. After all, we all hide something, don't we? Even you. Right? And Marlin just... Are you fucking done? With what I want to do here? Perhaps. I still have a few things I'd like to discuss with your king, but he's a bit busy at the moment. At which point, River tenses up and goes, Pardon me, madam. Could you clarify? You mean no harm. I just mean that he seems to be preoccupied with his work. He is a king, after all. I didn't want to get in between him and his judicial duties. What? Do you want to go and be his guard dogs again? Roll insight. This will be the last check you make. Okay. Do it with advantage. Oh, alright. Uh, 15. <laughs> high enough because I have a feeling I know these two yeah you briefly glance between Marlin and River two generals you've known for years you watch them tense the verbiage of guard dogs. They don't argue it. Tsubasa does speak up, not very, not very loudly, but he does mention it's just like that's kind of unnecessary to call them that, isn't it? Her eyes look directly at you, Tsubasa. Tsubasa does the mm, kind of thing, just do it. You say that, and for a moment, you've never felt so small. You are 17. Next year, you will be to most societies on most worlds an adult while she is looking at you with eyes as red as blood is you feel like you're a child again and you're being reprimanded even though she's smiling Tsubasa sort of shrinks back at that as well, just now. And then she speaks. I don't believe it was unnecessary. I'm only calling them what they are. <laughs> he does after a moment just sort of like he's even quieter now because he's just like ah yes the feeling of I'm I've messed up I've said the wrong thing but after a while it's just like but they're more than that Takes another step forward is stopped by River putting out an arm. She looks at River, then to you, Tsubasa. You no longer get that feeling of you're being reprimanded. 
now that you had a, just a split second to think about it. It was the feeling someone gets when they see a butterfly pinned to a corkboard. <laughs> yeah, no, Tsubasa just quietly takes a step back. There's silence in the foyer. He waited. Yet still somehow neutral. There's no aggression here. And she steps back. Well, oh, it has been lovely meeting all of you. I have to be on my way. I have a meeting in about two hours. No rest for the famous. And walks away. Once she starts walking away, that's when Subasa finally just takes a breath, just like... Like, that that breath of relief you take right after you get out of the high t out of a high tense situation his hands may be shaking a little bit I don't know Roll acquired that's a flavor thing for you yeah no his they're not shaking much but his hands are shaking a little bit as he's just taking a moment to it's fine. I'm not in trouble. I don't think I'm in trouble. <laughs> did not like that. Did Marlin's... not like how I felt. Li uh, did not like how it felt like he was being stared at, though, with the way that she was staring at him. <laughs> Marlon still has his hand on his. In the grip of his blade hasn't said a word just watching where she left from her however she's over just you okay it was intense yeah i'm I, I, i'm i'm fine i just i don't think i like her very much yeah that was it was like she was a completely different person from the throne room. I, I don't know what that was. Maybe I should come back another day. Yeah, please take care of yourself. That was almost bad. And he laughs. <laughs> almost. You look pale as a ghost. <laughs> then taps you on the forehead. Look as pale as your hair. <sighs> Tsubasa does laugh a bit at that. Just <laughs> yeah, I probably do, huh? I'll, I'll be fine. I'll just... Do you know when she's going to be back, or just... Meetings with the king are appointment-based. So, is she coming back tomorrow, then? We can't tell you that. No, that's classified information. Yeah, I know. Uh, I'll still come back tomorrow and see if I can go to the library then. Of course. Get some rest. Bring something healthy this time. I will. I normally do. Will you? Just reaches up and pinches your cheeks a little bit. Do you? <laughs> More often than not. And 
and stands up straight, letting you go and just... <sighs> Take care of things here. Looks at Marlin. Mar? Hmm. I did not hear what River said after after getting Merlin's attention. Uh, was was the response from Merlin of basically giving a hum of response and huh. saying, "Yeah." Okay. Yeah. Tsubasa just after a moment does go to start heading towards the stairs. And it's just like, I'll... I'll stop by and see you guys again tomorrow. Um... Be safe, I guess. And starts heading down the stairs. No, we'll be in the throne room tomorrow. That is our job. I can still peek in a little bit, can't I? a grimace of a smile from River. You can certainly try. Sure the king would love to see you. <laughs> I mean if I was if I'm as sneaky tomorrow as I was today. <laughs> I don't recommend sneaking past all of the guards. Probably not. Oh just after a moment he does shake his head and start and continues his way down the stairs just like I'll I'll I should get back before does the academy have a curfew it has one in the sense of if you're not back by this hour weird shit can happen you're not it's college energy uh, okay yeah just that kind of okay just like I'll I should get back before things start to get um noisy no, vague, <laughs> vague hand gestures at whatever the hell happened with Tom yeah <laughs> just I don't know what's going on nobody knows what's going on Subas is just making a hasty exit after the encounter with the white queen just like mm -hmm. If I'm gone quickly enough, I don't have to run into her again. You leave. There's silence in the foyer for a little while. Thing is said. Thing is done. He's barely even breathing. In reverse size. Marlon, stop that. You're scaring him. Yeah, I know. And she fucking scared us. I know. And steps over to him. I know. You don't get spooked by people. I was the only one who managed to spook you when we were younger. We can just tell the king. He always listens to us. And if he doesn't... Well, we can always go to those three. Oh, fuck that. I hate those three. <clears throat> they listen. Oh. Well, our only bet. Ah, uh, damn it. Sorry, Mar. So we're in that. Who wants to go next? I 
love it. Helio, Val, Raz, all of them, they get an hour. I get 30 minutes. It's <laughs> more like a 40, 45. <laughs> you had a more intense one. I did, yeah. Tsubasa got stared down the fucking devil. No big deal. We fucked about. You got information. <laughs> and I know that That's there is true. something a little fucky going on. So basically the first hour of the session was fucking around. Second hour was finding out. <laughs> yeah. 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 The third hour about to be. I don't know. Look, here comes our consequence, consequence, consequence. <laughs> I'll, hey. I'll, I'll, I'll take care of <coughs> my internets. Seeming to have a clear moment. Well, yeah. to be fair, outside of Lance, you're the only other person who hasn't really had... The... No, wait. Arthur. Nope, I had like an entire session right. that was just me. Right, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, Arthur... outside from Lance, you're now the only other person who hasn't really had their moment. TJ, talk to the pink-haired fuck. What are you on about? What pink-haired fuck? I talked to a pink-haired fucker that threatened me, and I threatened him right back. When you guys called Marluxia, and I had to shut it down? Oh. Oh, that pink-haired fuck. I called him Marluxia's bitch. Okay, so, yeah, in which case, um... For Marluxia. <laughs> it's Marluxia. No! Marluxia wish. What do you have there? Marluxia! No! Enough. I'm done. Okay. Next, uh... Yes, hour, because it seems like what we're doing right now. Technically 30 minutes, because I have something I want to do in the last 30. I mean, we could have our moment where everybody is finally shoved together in a room. It's Good. Uh, it's dinner time. It's that. dinner time. We're on the cafeteria. I wouldn't be against it, so... Sounds like a plan to me. So, who snatches up Tsubasa when he goes into the fucking cafeteria? Raz has already imprinted on him, so... <laughs> Raz sees Subasa is just like, THE BOY! THE BOY! <laughs> <laughs> Even better, Raz sees a very shaken up Subasa. <laughs> That's rough, buddy. Hmm. <laughs> Don't Zuko him. <laughs> he <can't>. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Zuko I have him. an alternate suggestion. Listening. Also listening. You guys, you guys meet up. Oh, on your way. Way to specifically the, because you all have an off day where none of your class, either your classes have been canceled, for one reason or another. Or, you just don't feel like going to them. I. <laughs> it would have to be cancel uh, canceled or just not happening for Subasa. Look, yeah. look, his yeah. mom and dad are right fucking there. Are we about to be, are we about to fucking breakfast club this shit with us all getting in trouble because we skipped class? <laughs> <laughs> It's college. Mm. Nobody gives a shit if you skip. It would be a false accusation Your for Subasa. Actually, oh, hold on. So... No, um, you're forgetting. I have D and D. Anyway, we actually have to do a specific scene, don't we? Probably, because, you know, Tom Berry still has that fucking, uh, flash drive. Let me ping the person who's supposed to be here. 
Do, 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 do. Oh, is Vernal not here? No. No, Vernal only shows up when the uh, character they're voicing is here. Mm. Vernal, Vernal only exists in the campaign as needed. Also, ain't nobody going to be able to tell Tsubasa that the White Queen is a good person after that encounter. <laughs> Val is not gonna try. <laughs> if Tsubasa explains it, oh man. <laughs> I mean, I know you guys know Helia doesn't like the Black King. I'll let you in on a trade secret. She doesn't like the White Queen either. <laughs> yeah, Raz is on the same page, just unsettled either way. <laughs> Arthur would have to encounter the White Queen for that. Even though Cade, the player, doesn't fucking like her. <laughs> Nobody her likes reason. her! But I have re other reasons for this. Well, I've Fine. got reasons too now! <laughs> what, is it because of fate reasons? Um, yes, that reasons. Gee <laughs> woogie woogie. I did it on purpose. <laughs> he knows what I did. <laughs> Speaking of, though, I want to say that the face claim is related to Merlin in some way. Mm hmm Is- am I- am I correct? Am I headed down the correct? I mean, are you fine with me saying yes or no? Yes. Yeah, it's- you're close. Hello. 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 It is we have summoned the Vernal. I am here. What? Oh. Yep. On what's going on, so I know how to like inter inter insert myself. <laughs> so, brief rundown before we get to this current part, which is the end of the session. Uh, so, the first hour was fucking around with a small group, just having fun, being light. Uh, the second hour was Tsubasa basically meeting the White Queen in Disney Castle. And being finally severely unnerved. Out. <laughs> Great. The others fucked around, Wait. Tsubasa found out. Just not related at all. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I want you all to know he used about, her like... terminology about the White Queen of comparing her to a porcelain doll. Sweet. Oh, ew. No. I mean, I, I can like with that porcelain one. dolls. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's... I don't... I... Pediophobia. I don't like anything that's porcelain or, like, childish. No. Fuck that. No. Ugh, I wouldn't there's... classify her as childlike, though. What about yeah, actual too... children? What? What about actual children? Okay. Ew. No. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> Damn. Children, disgusting. Hey, children. Oh, anyway, Ew. anyway. A anyway. child. I no. Train back on the tracks. Sorry. Right. Right. So, basically, catch everyone up to speed on what's happening for the last uh, about 40, 45 minutes. Uh, People who have not been interacted with, except for one, because Val, you're included into this one, on a different day. Lance, Val, and TV. You are going to be interacting together, and this is why Vernal is here. Oh, hi. TV. You're looking for someone who can hack into or gain access to files. <laughs> Thankfully, you know people who can do that. I don't know. like advertising it. <laughs> well, of course not. He knows a guy. He knows a guy who knows a guy who knows a guy. I know a couple guys. I know a couple guys. Don't worry about it. You, the less questions you ask, the more your skin gets to be unstabbed. 
Chush. Anyway. Moving on. Point being. Find yourself in a kind of low lit area. Relatively away from campus. It's one of those areas of campus. <laughs> it's fine. Everything's fine. I'm not sure what just happened, but I completely missed all of it. I have, I have to join the roll twenty cherry. That's all. Yeah. Okay, cause yeah, no things cut out. <sighs> yeah, that that's the only thing, Mordred. That's the wrong TJ. Where was I will get it. That's a party I will system. get it. I will get it after session because I have to change a lot of things on it. I hear. I just changed the photo. You don't. Whoa. Hasn't hasn't every single time we've just changed the photo, like with the Kingdom Hearts one, things would go to shit for a little bit. Probably. Have to change more than the photo. Yeah. Regardless. You mean the other thingy? Yes. The default token option that I also changed? Regardless. <laughs> I'm sticking on this. Okay. Do, 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 do. Fine. On. Huh. You know this is where. Not the shady or suspicious individuals go. Who is talking? Oh. Be someone from Kate. My golf. This is not where the shady and suspicious individuals go, but this is kind of. This is more or less where the people go when they're trying very desperately to figure something out in relative silence. There's always some hum of technology in this space. Walks right at the door. Is the door closed or is it an automatic open sort of thing? It is closed. He will politely check his jacket pockets, make sure everything's there. Nothing's in his gonna slip out. Reel back his hand and slam his fist into the door as hard as he can, hammer style. Val and Lance, you're, you have both been more or less working on getting a system set up to view the recording you got. Because you did get it. It was a low, it was a low, f like, attachment file, essentially. Like, the actual, like, even with what you had left... On, on your flash drive, you could have gotten it. And you're trying to set up on this device, because Lance, you recognized it as a... more or less a VR system. You're trying to fucking hardwire it into making it into recording viewing, except 3D rendering. Okay. Which is difficult for you. It's, it's one of those things of you know what you're trying to do, but you're having difficulty explaining it to someone else who also doesn't know what the hell you're doing. Then you hear bang against the door. Val is very used to loud noises from being around Raz, and it's just gonna be like, hey, who the fuck is it? Lance does just motherfucker with a knife. Open up. Lance just sort of gives a slow blink, just completely unamused, before dropping whatever wires he'd been messing with and walking towards the door. You 
input your specific code because everyone that walks in here has to input a specific code for basically saying they're in there. You don't have to tell me what yours is or what you and Val's might have been. You input yours and the door slides open. The moment it's open, he wedges himself in, kind of like, Pardon me, excuse me, fuck out the way. Uh, I hate to do this, but, um, does anyone know how to fix the Chad avatars? I'm still trying to figure that one out. Uh, ju I just go over to the audio and video. If you put them on names only, ah, it's Ah, there we go. They Thank you. Yeah. Sorry. Boris. Carry on. So he does come in, he goes, pardon me, excuse me, fuck out the way. Hey, nerd squad, that's something for you. Oh, that is so helpful. I didn't know you could do that. <laughs> you might be the <laughs> man some days, I swear to God. I've just been, I, I had just been moving all the avatars into one corner. Me You can too. move them? <laughs> Ow. Well, well, not on, not on this campaign, but on the other campaigns. So I just you been grab them. That's what I do. I, I put them all in one corner, and I like them in that little corner. It's I like it. It's neat. It gives me more space. But, uh, he just... Oh, wait, you were saying that to me, not Tonberry. This, yeah. That was so helpful comment. Okay, I got confused. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, guys. For no reason. Goddamn. I'm not gonna apologize. <laughs> but yeah, no, um, TJ just go. I got some fucking shit for you, nerd squad. Another just unamused stare, just chewing on a Twizzler. You open your mouth once while chewing, I will stab you. Have some manners. And then he walks past him. <laughs> when has Tonberry Jr. ever cared about manners? Anyway, carry on. <laughs> I always care about manners. I am a very manneristic, or however the fuck you say that word. And he stands on top of the side of the couch and then just plops himself down. Fuck ton of shit to care about, and I was raised in a manful household. I'm a merchant. What's I that out of character? Oh. Yeah. I'm not here yet. Oh. Oh Damn it. Curry over here is just taking everything in character right now. I have a voice, oh my, my dude. <laughs> I haven't heard it yet. But yeah, no. He then he'll just stay quiet while he does the whole plop thing. You hand over what you were trying to give them. I'm waiting for a response from either of them, honestly. You know, that couch has already seen enough wear and tear. Well, then I guess time it's clean. Look, you want the nerd shit or not? Because I may have, may, may, possibly, you have no fucking proof, may have done something illegal to get it. Oh yeah, what? Fucking tell me. He pulls out the flash drive. I stole from the fucking hidden files in the library and tosses a copy over to her. First time doing that? <laughs> to him. That was him. Yeah, uh, sorry. No, no, that's okay. That's okay. Kind of inspects it. Sorry, I mean, I, ooh, sorry, I'm getting hit with the, with the, with the blood sugar shakes, so I'm not at a thousand percent. <laughs> um. Hmm. That there's not the original, it's a copy. I almost got caught, so I made a couple on my way here. Hmm. Well, you know, if you brought the original, maybe we would put a, a little pep in our step, but since it's just, you know, a fucking copy, kind of like rolls his eyes and dramatically looks at Lance. 
Poundberry stares him dead in the face, reaches in to where his lantern normally is, and pulls out the original of the download. You mean this? Yeah, no, you fuck up, I lose this. I'm not losing this. Why are you see the up? We're, we're, we're pro fucking professionals. Jeez. We're professional criminals. This is super fucking illegal. I we gotta take caution. I mean, professional businessmen. Totally, this is all above fucking board. All right. What? Who the fuck are you? What are we doing? Oh, forgive me. I'm Tom Barry. I'm a merchant. And then he opens his jacket to a lantern that should not be able to fit as well as it does and goes, you want to buy something? I got mystery boxes and I got some good sales. Uh, you know, kind of like considers it for a little bit. Um, late, late, later, later. We're, we're, we're on, we're on uh, company time. Uh, where, hey, where are you from? Kansas. <laughs> he just doesn't yes. blink. Like he's looking at you. He, I don't. I don't think I've ever described how Tom Barry looks at people. But he has one eye completely open, the other one kind of like almost tilted shut because of the burn scars over his face, and he's just <laughs> staring at you with this deadpan right. look. Hands, yes. Hands. Huh? What just happened? Wait, did you go back to? working on the VR set. Yes. Perception for me at advantage. Perception? If my computer can stop dying for a moment. Loading. It's um okay. Uh, you said advantage. Yes. Perception. Sorry, love. Discord reset on me. Sorry. Right. Uh, Anyone. So while they're arguing. God damn it! It's fucking starting again. Uh oh. What is? My internet's having a fucking seizure. Uh, I'll, I'll just be vocal for a bit, so... No worries. This is the tail end of the session. It's mostly going to be talking. Okay. So... 21. Plants, while they're arguing, because that is what they're doing, they're arguing. Bickering like a married couple. You stop what you're doing, and you're pointed at your twitches slightly. And you look around for a moment because you hear footsteps outside. And there... Gate is familiar. Asia. You've been hearing about some students taking up things that they probably shouldn't. It's a rumor mill at this point. And though you don't normally listen to rumors of students, sometimes it has merit. This one... has a lot of it. We found out that one named Arthur has been speaking to the Black King. But there was an almost altercation at Cafe in Daybreak that stopped. You found out through investigation that there was something that transpired during a grudge match and most of the people the rumors are about there. To be not involved, but we're there. Fascinating. So... Then there's 
Then there's one more thing that catches your attention in the middle of the night. Night. It is the feeling of... Not darkness, but a certain kind of weight. The front of the gates. Just beyond where you can affect anything. That's never good. When you search for information the way you normally do, you find that some of the students that willingly talk to you are also a couple of certain Tonberry's customers. <sighs> this motherfucker. <laughs> Let's see what we can do. And no uh, role required. You are able to figure out that because, and I explain this to these chuckle fucks, you're one of the people who helped build and find and like found the hidden away like, server room, the place where everyone goes to not do shady things, but like find out information that maybe shouldn't be found by students. Yeah. So you guess that they're there. Fantastic. So, yeah, um, can I start describing what I'm doing? Yes. So, you hear footsteps for a second, um, you turn back to your work just to try and, like, if you, if you do, if you turn back to your work to just try and, you know, sort that out, keep it hidden. Is that what you're gonna do, Lance? It's the familiar footsteps. It there's nothing to hide here. Alright. So then, you see Elysia walk into the room, seemingly, like, without- I- I don't have a token. Yeah, you do. Oh, where is it? Ah, Please. there it is! My motherfucker! There he is! The guy! <laughs> the boy! So you the see him uh, go here, and then step through. And you look, have an looks, all access card, so yeah, he looks a little disappointed um, that you, he couldn't sneak up on any. Of you. <laughs> uh, yeah. <clears throat> and just what do you think you're doing here today? Just Twizzler half hanging out of his mouth. Research. Research. Um, is that it? Val is going to be totally normal and definitely, uh, in a very normal way, just kind of has a juggle stumble with the flash drive before just falling over and then just sitting up. Tomberry looks the teacher dead in their eyes and goes, selling porn? Yes. I've heard what you guys have been up to. And there we ain't making. No, no, no. That's a whole different story. But I am curious. What are you guys from? And this, and he says it with a smug smile. <laughs> I'm from fucking nowhere. <laughs> Sorry, <I> was laughing. <laughs> I did not ask where you were from. I asked what you found. Oh. My hearing ain't that good. I've been hit a lot. Sorry. I'm sure. Fuck's that's but Godless. Wait, you want- hold on. I told you I was selling porn, and you're asking what I found. <laughs> well, if there's <laughs> contraband being tossed around in the school, I should be knowing about it. Can I have, like, an insight check? You What's can. What's the insight check for? Just to, just it, so this, I know. Just, just an insight check to see how caught in our bullshit we are. Oh, honey. <laughs> That's a Go four. Ahead. I think this person's actually trying to find out what porn we're talking about. <laughs> oh, hell. <laughs> Conberry just starts giving this person the most disgusted look of, like, you teach children. 
<laughs> yeah, he. I know it's not porn, you fuck. No. <laughs> he seems have, very no. casual about tossing around like swear words, but he. It's kind of just like you know him to be like pretty casual about that dynamic, especially with the older students. Um, but he does seem. It's like, oh. Come on now. Just tell Holmes the truth, won't you? I'll tell you for 1500 I'm an information broker, a merchant. I gotta make bank. You don't have to make bank on anything if you don't want to get expelled. The blankest look of. Oh no! That would actually be bad, but you know what? I don't want to lose face in front of you, so... Oh, no. 1300 Oh, we're, we're just shutting up. I'm taking a vow of silence at 1300 yes. I mean, if, if you don't. <laughs> he, Tom Mary snaps and points in agreement with Val. Yes. Yes. Roll... Roll insight. Just flat roll. Mm. That was a worrying sound. Do I want to look? It's a 17. <laughs> oh, that. You look up from what you're doing and glance over to Asia, Professor Holmes. And her look lingers for a moment, a kind of deadpan look that slowly shifts into surprise as you realize, oh shit, don't know what Professor Holmes knows, but certainly knows more than you. It's an instinctive trust, not as much as you had with king, but it's an instinctive trust. You underestimate the amount of trust that Lance has in king. Like I said, I it's not as much as king. It, it's an instinctive trust. Oh, wait. My, my brain did not process that correctly. Sorry. You're all Worries. good, Mia. <laughs> I, but yes, thought... while these but while these two are basically going back and forth of you can buy information off of us, you just stare and go to yourself of oh shit. Kind of feeling. It's very likely he knows what you found. Not that he'll let on. Information for information. How about that? Uh, no, I got burn scars. This shit costs money to treat. We're not talking to you. I'm interested in bargain. <laughs> Let's see. What exactly are you after? What do you know about someone named Lath? Also, are you single? I'm not asking for me, I'm asking for a friend. <laughs> Absolutely not. Anyway, can carry on. Uh, <laughs> you want to know about someone? What would I know? Just for reference. You'd not know much. The name sounds familiar in that sense of there's a vague buzzing in the back of your head. Of, I know this, but I can't put my finger on it. Kind of like yeah. when you forget something important, and it's just like, I, it, if it was important, I wouldn't forget about it. But it was important. Alas, you have found one of the deficits in my knowledge. My great knowledge of many things. 
But I do recognize the name. That's a fr I'm afraid that's all I can give you. She sort of tilts her head and smiles. He he does click his tongue. Just unfortunate. Very well. I asked a question. Now it's your turn. What are you reconstructing over here? What the rec recording? recording? Yes. What recording? Something that we found in Hollow Bastion. Why would you go there? Oh my god. You idiot children. <laughs> he shrugs just in a what are you gonna do sort of way. Just research. Like I said. You're delving into very risky territory. Especially for a student like you. Well, students like you. Hey, listen, you know, nothing is risky territory when you're rolling with Valentino fucking Supremo, all right? We got this shit covered. Conberry pulls out a kitchen knife. I'm already armed, don't worry. That isn't what I meant. Uh, I'm surrounded by idiots. <sighs> it seems so. However, I am here to inform you that while you are clearly competent, if you are able to find something so deep in there, I must request that you relay things to me from now on, as best you can. I've been keeping an eye on things here, and I'm worried that they're starting to come to a head. Yeah. Now, you will receive compensation for this sort of thing, whether it be monetary or in other ways, will uh, be up to my discretion. Naturally. Perhaps some free tries at some of the events around here. Up to your competency, you can find even more things. But this is important. I hope you'll work with me on this. Lance does kind of like step away from what he had been working on, just puts out a hand. It's a deal. Holmes shakes it. Thank you. You will not regret this. I sure hope I won't. And he's gonna back away <laughs> don't be careful though the wolves have ears and he leaves what the fuck was her deal huh she wanted to know what we knew she got one thing out of what we knew what he knows and he points over at Lance I'm going I'm to make a quick uh, sleight of hand roll. Just in general. Yes. Um, this is, this will be, um, I have to double check my own sheet, which is in a secondary category. But, uh, <laughs> so I apologize for that. Um, it won't be too bad. I believe in Shouldn't. you. Yes. Shouldn't be bad. Oh, it won't be. We will find out. Ugh. Um, yeah. Well, from what I can tell, you would probably notice that something has been swiped from your inventory. One of the copies of the flash drive. Fucking hell. <laughs> Wait, hold on. How'd she take... How'd she take something that Val had from Lance? He didn't even need to get close. What the fuck? <laughs> what? The what? kinds of teachers we have at this fucking school, I swear. Hold on. What? What's wrong? My god. Magic. Huh? Uh, that would be at, uh, I believe, Val. What happened? 
Yeah. Oh, uh, uh, Mary was asking what the fuck is up because you made a noise. Oh, <laughs> Val kind of like does like you see him like, like uh, patting like on his like on his jacket and shit, and it's like, and it's gonna be very dead silent, and he goes, "All right, we're gonna need the other copy." I don't know what happened. He reaches and he looks so fucking defeated and goes. Reaches into where the lantern is and then pulls out two more copies. I'm gonna keep the fucking original with me. Thank god I have major paranoia and throws one to Lance and then one to Val. <laughs> Val is gonna say out loud no comment and they're just gonna pocket it in an inner pocket. <laughs> oh fuck, we need to it's fucking It's needs to be deciphered. It's blacked out. It, its files are under encryption. I didn't take it here for you guys to enjoy it. Lance just not even turning from what he'd been working on, just reaches out a hand and grabs it out of the air as it's thrown at him. Just <laughs> Hey, hey Lance, what color what color am roll I thinking of? Acrobatics. <laughs> oh <laughs> Yeah, roll acrobatics. That <laughs> Lance trying to be cool. <laughs> right against the back of their head. <laughs> Don't find out. Do not You said acrobatics? Acrobatics, baby. Oof! Oh, oh yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. Well. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I w- uh, DM, am I good to go? Far. All right. Bye-bye. Bye bye. Bye. <laughs> but Sombra just kind of like move to sit on the edge of the fucking couch, just like, okay, note to self. That bitch don't trust. No offense to her, but. She stole from a tonberry. That does not end well. Oh, no, yeah, absolutely fucking no. Worse than that, he stole from Valentino fucking Supremo, and you don't fucking do that. How was it he? I thought it was a she, or am I just that fucking... I just kind of just... I, I kind of got the vibe that she's just like, whatever. I I know these things. Well, I don't actually know these things. <laughs> All right, look. I was gonna make a joke. Then just whatever funniest at the moment. Dance. Yeah. Wait, Lance, what did you say? Gender is whatever's funniest at the moment. Yeah, that's how I lived my life. <laughs> and that's how I got stuck at a mall trying to figure out if at a thin boy. Lance. <clears throat> yes. Do you want to roll for this, or do you want it to be story based? So story based yeah. there's no real penalty to that I just wanted your opinion so as you're fixing up this set this system finally manage to get it to work which do you plug in first the recording or the flash drive the recording connect your flash drive and you use the panelings on the side to connect you saw in the study the VR system you took out the headset so it would play on the screen so it would be 3D so everyone could see it you could show it to people that's not what happens. Instead, you stumble backwards. Five feet as... There's a brief flicker of light that startles even you. As all three of you see a woman. If 
faded pink hair and she has mostly monochromatic clothing there is gold and blue they look faded too like she's had them forever and her eyes are brilliant brilliant gold she's grinning the image keeps flickering stuttering there's words being said the mouth's moving glance do you get close to the image that's being projected Yes. Just step closer to it. Still can't hear what's being said, even though you heard the voice before. It's the same outline, it's the same hair shape, it's the same attitude and present presentation. Can't hear the voice this time. You think you can fix it think you can fix it and make the voice and the image work. You try. Yeah. Val and Tan. You see Lance reach out to the system virtual reality system. He's confident. There's no shortage of confidence in his face. No hesitation, no backlash, no... He knows what he's doing. Do you think he does? Because when he touches it, it's like a flashbang goes off. And all the three of you hear is a woman's voice saying, Well, this is a bit of a pickle now, isn't it? All in there. Ah, uh, you. God. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Fucking knew it. God damn it. Hang on. Oh my gosh. I didn't get to make my Tom Berry joke, but that's okay. Hope <laughs> well, this Harry, was a good. If you haven't stopped recording, you can stop recording.